So the show must go on. And so it shall. And so it shall. Blue eyes. White dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Secret rare. I told you I felt it. I told you I felt it. So the show must go on, and it shall, with Ancient Guardians. So Ancient Guardians was released on May 7th, 2021. And not only does it have 15 collector's rares, it also has a nightmare slew of names that you probably won't be able to pronounce. <laughs> I'm not sure if I use those adjectives correctly, so you language buffs just probably cringed. But then, let's be honest, you're a language buff, you're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> we managed to find a poor Walmart left unmolested. And we decided to take the entire carcass. We leave no remnants behind. And so that's what we've done. We've picked every booster pack of Ancient Guardian we can get. Not much. Not a booster pack. Well, it might be a booster box. This essentially could be a booster box. Who knows? I guess we'll find out once we count them all. These things are incredibly tough to open. You know what's actually sad? Is that when you go to buy a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards now from Walmart, they have these things on the back of them. You don't know what these are, ladies and gentlemen. These are the Don't Steal Me Alarms. That's right. They are Don't Steal Me Alarms on the pack of $3.99 booster packs at Walmart. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. You guys should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Shame. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you! So we got 24 so far. 24 and 8 is 32. So we literally have 32. This is a little more than a booster pack. Eight of these things had that don't steal me on them. Well, seven. Six. Five. Oh, no, yeah, five. Anyway, you don't, that doesn't matter. We have 32 of these things. All right, we got a little more than a booster pack. Sweet. Okay, as I stated, this set came out on May 7th, 2021. And inside of this seven card booster pack, we can expect six rares and one foil. Now that foil has the opportunity to be one of 15 collector's rares. And I just fat fingered that. Nice. Um, the most expensive collector, I say expensive, the most valuable is the uh, collector's rare, the Skullmeister, but we got Usartic McBillis. Trade in, not collector's rare. An Ogdoic. Oh, I suck. Oh. Man, we have 32 of these things to go through. Snake Rain. Alright, we got us a uh, Philosophical Court Fancia. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know if I said that correctly, but we're just gonna run with it. Oh, uh, Fat Finger again, and. Okay, uh, another super. The value in this set, it's kinda all over the place. Um. So it's kind of like collector's rare bust. And if you know anything about ghosts from the past, then you're kind of used to that. You know, I really don't like opening the sets that are full rare. It's because I feel like it's a participation participation trophy. And I remember the days when you would open up a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and get nothing. You would get a rare. That made you value it all the more. 
you know, for the younger generation getting into this, they're going to be spoiled. Oh, we got trade in and collectors rare. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. We got the third most rare card. Get the fuck out of here. Some monster Frankenstein. Get the fuck out of here. Wow. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh man, jackpot. So trade in is 140 bucks. It is 140 bucks. Look at that. What a hit. What a hit, bro. I'm over here talking cold cash and bing. Collector's rare drops right into my hand. That's the see. That's all you have to do. You just have to talk smack and just reminisce on the good old days. And then it says, hey, I'm still, I'm still Yu-Gi-Oh. Put some respect on it. And this is getting sleeved. And it's getting top loaded. And if you didn't know, you do now. You're watching the top loaders where we pull collector's rares from the brand new sets. Wow. If I can get it, the, you know, okay. You don't want to just I do it my way. Yo, check her out. Anytime. There we go. Collector's rare. Hold. Thumbnail. Wow. And we still have a lot of packs left to go. That was sick. Oh, look, this Skullmeister, but not the one I want. Yeah, let's put this one there. Heck yeah. That just made my video so much longer. Hello, Odoic Waller, Water, Water Lily. That collector's rare had a cool feel to it. I felt it before I really looked at it. So that's good to know. They have a different feel to them. They have um, kind of like Pokemon's full art cards. Where they have like the raised texture. Another water, water lily. I need a like on this video. I just pulled a collector's rare for you guys. Have you seen that, Rhett? Has anybody pulled a collector's rare yet? Drop them in the comments. Let me know. Make sure you smash that subscribe button too so we can keep making content for you guys. But we can keep doing this for you guys. And when I say we, I mean the top loaders. Pull this woman multiple times. What do you guys do with your bolt cards? What do you guys do with them? Do you save every bolt card or do you like do you sleeve every one? Are you rich? How deep are your pockets? Do you put them all in a binder or you just, you know, what do you do with your bolt? Do you keep the repeats and you just have infinite amount of repeats or do you, you know, just box them up and store them away? Maybe one day they'd be worth something. It's kind of what I do. Put them in a Ziploc baggie, tape them up real good, and put them in a box and forget about them for 10 years. There you go. Maybe they'll bring me money. Maybe they'll make good fire kindle. You never know. And I mean, I never send me that cards if they hear me saying stuff like this. I take that previous statement back. Even though I pulled that chick three times. And mind you, this is not a booster box. I just bought random packs from Walmart. And I hit a collector's rare. Ooh, another ultra rare. About time. We're on our last pack. Or well, second to last pack. I'm trying to hurry this up. I know you guys don't like watching super long 
videos and nothing's getting grabbed another i just pulled a double i pulled that guy twice how about that i definitely need a like for that definitely give me a like for that here we go baby watch i'm gonna pull skullmeister's collector's rare i'm calling it now Oh, I pulled the same chick I've been pulling all day. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this video. As you see, we have just opened the new release of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ancient Guardians. In our pool, we managed to pull the Collector's Rare Trade-In, whose value is currently sitting at roughly $140.32, says TCGplayer.com. Now, two other cards outvalue this card, that being the Dino Wrestler pancreatops and the skullmeister fortunately we didn't get those but fortunately we did get this one we also got three of the ultra rares well two of the ultra rares and one of the two being a duplicate but hey thank you guys for watching this video this has been the top loaders opening ancient guardians and uh check out some of our other videos we open up Yu-Gi-Oh and we open up pokemon and uh make sure you hit that subscribe button thank you for uh just watching this video again and hit that like and drop a comment let me know who opened another collector's rare before your very eyes all right you guys have a good one blue eyes white dragon ladies and gentlemen Secret rare. I told you I felt it. I told you I felt it. That's a response to oh my gosh, it's just I'm sorry, I seem to have something stuck in my Somebody give him some water, please.